Hello. Today I'm going to um, paint an image that I found in um, online. It's a free stock image and I thought I'd like to make a little grungy type of a canvas. I got these cheap canvases at Michael's. They were five dollars for a pack of them, kind of in the school section. And I love this 8x8 size. I may end up going and getting some more. But what I like is it's not too precious, so I don't mind if I mess up. Um, and what I also do like is you get a lot of them for your money. So I can play a lot and um, have fun. So I'm going to try this image of the kind of the rustic table with this interesting coffee cup. And I've been studying a lot of Impressionist, or um, how do I say it, um, and kind of intuitive, um, grungy type of artwork online and kind of seeing. I've got some books. I've got one by Annie O'Brien Gonzalez. And I kind of like her style. And what a lot of illustration artists are doing are kind of making things one-dimensional, which is interesting. Everything's kind of flat and spread out, but I kind of like the way it looks. So we're going to give it a try and uh, see how it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coat um, my surface. Actually, I'm going to spread some modeling paste on the top of the canvas to give it some texture, and I'm probably going to um, imprint some stencils and just kind of give it a little bit of a textured feel. And I'm just going to use an old gift card that I have lying around and just kind of spread it over here. And you definitely want to leave some marks. Um, to me, grungier the better. some cool texture marks in here. Don't be afraid to play with things that you have and um, just see what happens. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm actually going to go grab my heat tool because I am very impatient and don't like things to air dry. So I will be back. So first what I'm going to do, I want a little bit of um, some white flex, not a whole lot, but what I may do is just um, hit this with some white with my brayer um, to give it some speckly look. And um, just sort of randomly. And keep in mind, your painting does not have to look exactly like um, your photograph. That's the whole beauty of mixed media and um, your own art. Just make it your own. Do what you want. Go with it. If it doesn't look that great, who cares? It was a cheap canvas and uh, just keep going. So I'm going to let this dry just a minute and then we'll start adding some color. Okay, so I'm going to do this maybe at a little wonky angle. It doesn't have to be straight up and down. Uh, so we're just going to give this a try here. And here again, I think I'm going to brayer. Hmm. I guess I should have started with the greens, but let's go, let's start an outside. And 
And this is a Naples yellow, by the way. Uh, do you believe? Yep, Naples yellow. different things to sketch my outline onto here and I think this Stabilo marks all pencil is probably going to work the best. Um, I had a white chalk pencil yesterday and of course I can't find it but um, if you, you can also use white chalk it just may not show up as well so for filming I'm just going to use this marks all so you can see it a little better. It is going to be water soluble so you will see this come through, but we'll coat over it enough with paint to where it won't be a problem. So I'm just going to sketch out this wonky cup. And since it's a wonky picture, it doesn't really have to be um, exact. And then the saucer. Alright, so we're just going to base it with some white, probably have to do a couple of layers.
Posca pen, which are my all-time favorite, the Uni Posca pen. Um, I usually buy the size, the one millimeter, because I like how it, um, the lines. So we're just going to do these geometric shapes that are on this picture. Similar, maybe not exact. going to put a little shadow under here. Alright, so we've got this wonky cup. I am going to take a break. I'm going to look at it. I may add something else to it or I may leave it the way it is. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I decided not to add anything else, just kind of let it be. I usually go back in here, touch up a little bit with a Stabilo, a little bit with the Posca pen. Um, and then if you want to make some other marks with the Stabilo, just randomly do some scribbles. That's fine too, because I'm going to seal it um, with, a, with a spray to, to keep that waterproof. And then I am going to just, since it's kind of old and grungy looking, I am kind of going to go around the edges with some burnt umber. done it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me. I'm Ruth at Fox and Raven Designs and hopefully more will be coming soon. Thank you.